Please Explain with Scotty and Paul. Good mates and knockabout blokes, Scotty and Paul, explain all the things you don't understand in simple language with no bullshit. Like the coronavirus vaccine. I remember going with my mum and you walked in and there was that big table of little teaspoons with, with pink, something pink in there. I've got no idea what it was, but she told me I had to take it and then bang, in the arm. And mum took me to that, well, I'll take mum this time. Good on you, mum. Easing back JobKeeper. It's a bit like going from ICU to an inpatient and then you're an outpatient and you're going for a bit of physio yeah. and that sort of thing. And then... You know, you, you, you're back like you and I mar running marathons all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you fat bastards. Optimism. Optimism is what gets us through. And it's not a sort of a vain sort of romantic optimism. It is, it's real because it's based on something real, which is the Australian's tenacity and the way we get through stuff and we focus and we get there. The Australian's tenacity and the way we get through stuff and we focus and we get there, that's real as, bro. The digital world. What happens in the real world has to happen on the digital world. Just the same rules. You can't, you know, abuse people and carry on like a, a goose, um, although plenty seem to. Um, I don't think you should have a rule necessarily against all of that, but you're still being a goose. Stop being a goose, you goose, and go in the footy. Would you like to declare now, early and on national television, will you be going to the football this year? Oh, yeah. Oh! I'm looking forward to Matty Moylan playing a lot of games this year. <laughs> Don't know who that is, but I bet he's a bloody good bloke. Join the boys next week as they unpack cryptocurrency and why Sheila's take so long in the bathroom.